Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfectionalis talking about rheumatology one more time. In the previous video, we had an introduction about rheumatoid arthritis. Today, we'll continue our discussion of rheumatoid arthritis. We have IgM autoantibodies against the FC portion of IgG. We have white blood cells in the joint because rheumatoid arthritis is an inflammatory arthritis. ASR and CRP are going to be high. The patient is going to have Baker cyst, anemia of chronic disease. You have involvement of the PIP and MCP and rest, and you have rheumatoid nodules, you have pulmonary fibrosis, pancarditis, specifically pericarditis, you have median nerve entrapment, you have scleritis and episcleritis, you have atlantoaxial subluxation of the cervical spine, the typical age of presentation is 40 to 50 year old female. With that being said, now let's get started. You can get a case answer and explanation sent to your email inbox every week. Go to patreon.com forward slash medicosis and follow me there. Did I mention it's free? Rheumatological disease could be divided into non-inflammatory and inflammatory. Rheumatoid arthritis is inflammatory. Therefore, you will have cardinal signs of inflammation. Symmetric worse in the morning is R and CRP are high. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune chronic systemic inflammatory disease. Therefore, you have cardinal signs of inflammation, you have constitutional symptoms, you have joint pain that improves with use, therefore it's worse in the morning, better in the evening. It's asymmetrical arthritis, you have elevation of ASR and CRP, and ferritin, and platelet count. It's an inflammatory arthritis, it affects small joints, commoner in females, because many, like most of autoimmune diseases, are commoner in women. Most of immunodeficiency diseases are common in men. Chronic disease with acute flares. Joint fluid analysis will show white blood cells of more than 2,000. During the acute flares, it's going to be predominantly neutrophils in the joints. Morning stiffness for more than 30 minutes. Some authors argue more than one hour. If it's inflammatory, it's going to lead to synovitis. You can get my Perfectionals Ultimate Notebook plus 20 lymphoma cases plus 25 bleeding cases with answers. Go to patreon.com forward slash medicosis. Rheumatoid arthritis. Definition. Now, we'll look at this definition. It's going to be better than Robbins or Harrison's or what have you. Every single word here is worth $63,000 and nothing else. If you wrote this definition on your exam paper, uh, you might go to NASA. I'm just saying. Rheumatoid arthritis. O to immune. Systemic. Symmetrical. Chronic. Inflammatory. Polyarthritis that involves small peripheral joints and more common in women than men can have articular and extra articular manifestations brilliant definition by yours truly you can also add that rheumatoid arthritis is the most common inflammatory arthritis period etiology unknown aka idiopathic we are idiots and we cannot figure out the pathology some genetic bases low concordance rate and identical twins translation it's not only genetic there are other factors since the low concordance rate some people argue some bacteria are involved because of citrullination citrullination is a post translational modification and i've talked about this topic in my video about anti-ccp o2 antibodies in this playlist hladr and hladq will have more aggressive rheumatoid arthritis. Seropositivity. What do we mean by, by seropositive rheumatoid? We mean rheumatoid factor is positive and or anti-CCP is positive. And if you have both of them positive, it's a more aggressive disease, unfortunately. Epidemiology. Worldwide prevalence, 0.5 to 1% of the population. And since we have about 7 billion people or more as of this moment, you do the math, it's 35 to 70 million patients. That's a lot of people. Incidence, female to male ratio is 3 to 1, so it's commoner in females. Typical age of presentation is 40 to 50. If you want to be sophisticated, all right, let's draw this. Here is your age, and here is your risk of getting rheumatoid arthritis. The incidence increases between the age of 25 and 55. So your risk is going like this. 
All right. Then from 55 to 75, there is a plateau like this. And then after 75, your risk declines like this. So the typical age of presentation is between 40 and 50. But I have a kid and he is 13 years old and he has rheumatoid. That's probably juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, which is a different topic. Here is a mnemonic that rheumatoid arthritis has HLA-DR4 association. This is a rheumatoid hand and this is number four at the fourth finger. Just to remember, look at the PIP and MCP joint involvement. Look at the ulnar deviation. Rheumatoid arthritis, inflammatory, your body is on fire. ESR is high, CRP is high, ferritin is high, platelet count is high. Rheumatoid factor, anti-CCP. What's the rheumatoid factor? IgM against the FC portion of IgG. Since this is an antibody against an antibody, against the self, we call this an O2 antibody. Therefore, rheumatoid is an O2 immune disease. This joint will have white blood cells that are more than 2,000 because it's an inflammatory arthritis. The buzzword in rheumatoid arthritis is penis. If you remember, the buzzword in osteoarthritis was osteophytes. Okay, please remember that. Osteoarthritis, osteophytes. Rheumatoid arthritis, penis. What the flip is a penis? We'll talk about this in the next video. Baker cyst, which can rupture, and in ruptures, it's bad. And it can block the veins from the outside, and it can mimic DVT, deep vein thrombosis. The most common cause of a swollen calf in a patient with inflammatory knee arthritis is ruptured Baker cyst. Why is hepcidin here? Because she will have anemia of chronic disease. These are rheumatoid nodules on extensor surface because they are exposed to trauma. MCP involvement, PIP involvement, and wrist invo involvement. Median nerve entrapment called carpal tunnel syndrome. Pericarditis, pulmonary fibrosis, scleritis and episcleritis, athlantoaxial subluxation, and the typical age of presentation is a 40 to 50 year old woman. To get more notes about rheumatoid, go to patreon.com forward slash medicosis to get this PDF for just a buck and you'll get also a PDF about osteoarthritis and in the PDF about rheumatoid, we'll learn about the likelihood ratio and a bazillion other stuff. If you love visual medical mnemonics, try Picmonic and the link is in the description. And they have many video Picmonics about rheumatoid arthritis. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and join the tribe. Hit the bell to get notifications. Follow me on Facebook for more than 100 cases there. Follow me on all of these platforms. Go to patreon.com forward slash medicosis to get my PDF notes and my cases. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.